listen to me. It's a straightforward question. Do you pay royalty? No, you don't pay royalty. Now, this raw material you are collecting, they belong to the Kenyan people. And they do get depleted. I keep repeating it. You know you've closed certain mines because you can't mine no more. What do you expect us to tell the Kenyan people when they all they go to see is quarries of material that has been extracted? And we can't say that we didn't collect as a ministry of mining that are overseeing that, that, that space. What do you expect us to tell them? That we, we couldn't collect anything for all the material that has been extracted. So let's just be realistic. We have to pay something in the field of mining. We have to pay something. And I think 1.6% is a very reasonable figure. And the way it is explained to me, the PS has put it very well, that uh, it depends on, a, on efficiency and pricing from time to time. It can be even lower than that 140 or even 100. So please stop resisting your contribution to, to largely the Kenyan people. Because to be honest, now it's in the law, it's in the regulations, and it must be implemented. You know? It must be implemented. The exercise of mine we are doing now, it must be supported by a plan. You can't keep digging without a plan. You are excavating. I was in a site the other day. Yani umto na chimba tu chini. Goes further down without you clearly can see there's absolutely no way they'll be able to rehabilitate. And you know what the law says? As much as it is possible, you bring it back to the status you found it. So if you go 20 meters wide, 100 meters, I mean 20 meters deep, 30 meters deep, 100 meters wide, how are you ever going to, rehab to be able to rehabilitate that? And then the worst case is that they be, they be, those quarries become uh, dens of criminal activities because they're not being put to use, they are abandoned. So then therefore I would require every company to give us a clear rehabilitation plan. I was at a factory the other, the other time. Unfortunately, we've had to, uh, to issue a notice. I've even encouraged the Minister of Environment to f also further take some action, simply because you clearly see silica, dust all over the place. I became unwell because of the visit. I left that place with a flu, a horrible one. And there are po populations, there are people who reside around. So we don't need to come and you know, have a back and forth on basic fundamental requirements that you all are, are aware about. So meaning Kenya cannot be a dump site. Kenyan people cannot suffer for no apparent reason. You invest, you follow the, 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 the rule of law, both in terms of the regulations of mining and environmental, then we'll be best of friends. You can come later and say, this one we need to engage to make certain changes. I'll be more, happy, more than happy to be your advocate. But for as long as we don't follow what is required of us today, then we may have a problem. All the compliances in terms of rehabilitation and everything has to be followed. All these quarterly reports, which I'm hearing, you know, the, the quarterly reports, the employment, the training, I think this is just a matter of now making sure that the industry follows it. So on, on that, I think there is no, no disagreement as far as what the ministry expects and what the cement uh, subsector must do. In the Kenya, in whole East Africa, cement price is the lowest and we want to continue with this lowest prices because and for doing that, we need the support of the mining department because uh, that is not only supporting to the affordable housing, but also supporting the infrastructure of the country with the common person. And we want to continue with that agenda. Without uh, uh, mining or those who are carrying out the business of mining, there, shouldn't, there should be no uh, ministry for mining. So we are here to facilitate those who are carrying out uh, business of mining including the value addition to the product from mining. And therefore, 
the discussion that we are having is timely. We will adhere in terms of implementation, but if there are some bottlenecks, we can raise directly with your ministry, and then we see how we can uh, address address the concerns.